a Stevie driving past Stone Engine, it. Well, that's where we're going to do it today, everybody. Just catching up with uh, Stone Engine. <laughs> hey. This is how we do it in little old England. No way. Uh, yeah, happy dais. Happy dais. Right, there's been some mad stuff going on there, Steve. I'm, go I'm going over there in a minute. I'm going to sit on the top of it and eat a custard tart. Getting me cake on Stonehenge. Happy days. Okay, guys, over there in the distance, uh, we're out with Tony Hunt today of uh, the supplier's detector bits. And uh, he's over there with his van and he's talking to my mate Sid Tacton. And uh, Sid's already on free Romans. I've been going about 40 minutes. And half the battle is just knowing they're here. I've struggled, I haven't had one. And I've been digging the faintest of signals trying to get these Romans out the iron. And if you look at this, if you look at this now, guys, I've just had a small half of a Roman bronze. So I am on it. I am digging the right signals. So, uh, yeah. And I'll get some more, hopefully. Okay, guys, like I explained before, we've come down, me and Sid, today to see uh, our friend Tony Hump from Detector Bits, the supplier. And uh, we're down in Salisbury. And this ain't a Roman, but I love it because it's a nice local piece. And uh, Sid hasn't had one. <laughs> I don't want the buttons. I'm having the Roman, man. How, how many Romans you had? Four. Oh, and like I said, yeah. thanks a lot, Tony, for getting us out today. Yeah. Top, top and uh, shout out to our friend Karen and her sisters. Yeah. Hello, uh, hello, Karen, International yeah. Detector Centre. Happy days, Happy right? Days. So we're on the Romans. We best yeah. best get back I'm to on the it. Romans. On the okay, guys, just working me way over to the van with Tony to get a spade off him. I got a scratchy signal, and uh, can just see it here. Look, it's a very small Roman. This one. And I love getting the little ones. Be yeah, I'll be a minim this, Tony. Oh, yeah, a well, that tells me I'm not missing nothing. Yeah. Coming at about 54 on the dais. And uh, that's what we're after. I just just had this, and initially when it came out the ground, I thought it was a cow tag. Then obviously seeing a nice pattern. We haven't had anything um, Saxon up here. Roman See. Like so it's a strap end of some sort, I'd say, delicate. Classic, and uh, and then I'm walking over, and Sid's going, "I'm on the hammered, Steve. I'm on the hammered." And he's got he's got a nice Lizzie sixpence. I'm on the hammered. So come on, get it on, Sid. <laughs> Can I do a proper one? Just because just because you're in front of Tony, <laughs> give us a little bit. Minute, big it? fish, little fish. <laughs> Go on then. Happy days, Sid's on the Ahmed. Care to see you, Tony. Yeah, Cheers, man. Tom. We're down in Salisbury. You won't be able to tell very well from this video, but that is an Apache helicopter. Oh, yeah, you can tell there. We're on the Apaches of Anglo Celtic. Give us your Romans, or we'll send you a missile. Happy days! And I'm back on the race of two kids, look. I'm borrowing Tony's, but I've got one in the post. Because that day is it's just not as happy as the race of two, in my book anyway. I ain't got a clue what this is yet, guys. I know what I want it to be. I know what I want it to be. I want it to be a nice big Roman or fairly decent sized Roman. Let me just give it a bit of a wipe and we'll see what it cleans up into, if anything. I think this is just a rotted out father or something, guys. So, a bit of a false alarm, but next time. Okay, down the bottom end of the field, away from most of the iron, but I was getting an iron signal. And there was hardly anything about it. And it took me ages to see what I'm on. Oh, I thought it was going to be a lone Roman down this end, but maybe it's a worn hammy, kids, look. Very worn hammy, I reckon. Mm. 
incredibly worn hammy, but it's a hammered, it's a hammered, I'll give it a wipe. Any excuse for a dance, you know me kids, especially if Sid's had one. I'm on all the small bits, Sid's on the big bits. Stevie don't miss nothing. Okay guys, this uh, racer two that Tony's lent me today. It's just popped me my second hammered uh, of 2017. He's running it with a, a Nell Hunter coil on. And it's not a bad little coil look. Coil look. And this is it. It's only a warm one. But it's a nice small hammy. It's hardly anything on the other side. But it's hammered coin, isn't it? You know, that's what we're all coming out looking for. Stuff like that. So, uh, happy days, isn't it? Happy days on the racer. Back on the hammers on the racer 2. Okay, guys. Uh, still the racer 2. Still getting... It was all kinds of weird noises going on with this hammered coin in the hole. Uh, so once I pulled it out, there was still something going on. And uh, that's what was in the same hole as this small hammered coin. Iron separation at its best with the Macro Racer 2, getting you on the hammered with iron in the same hole. Happy days. Okay guys, uh, Tony Hunt of Detector Bits, he's got a couple of um, children's metal detectors that he actually rates really highly. I uh, mean, so they're going to have a look at them for the viewers. Um, but just as I'm working over to the van, pop myself a little Roman, I think. Give it a bit of a wipe, see how we get on with it. Okay guys, we've come away from all the iron and... Uh, because this Roman field has had a good going over over the years, so sometimes best just come out the hot spot and try and pick up some of the stragglers. This one definitely won't be. Um, this one definitely won't be an old farthing. It's not round, so it'll be a Roman. I'll give it a bit of a wipe and see what's on it. All right, guys. Yeah, this one's definitely uh, a Roman. Not sure whether that's depicting an altar or something there. Possibly that's the right way up. It could be like a Roman soldier portrait facing to the left. Not 100% sure, but size wise, and uh, what's left of it, it's probably my best Roman up to now anyway. And uh, I'm happy with that. Back on the Macro Racer 2, remember? Good old macro racer. Okay. This is going to be another Roman. Uh, I'll give it a wipe and see if there's much on it for you. On the Romans, in it, Not a lot left on this. It might clean up a little bit back at home. Uh, I have to wait and see. But at least it's a Roman. Another little Roman. Now, I've heard a lot of talk about uh, Roman uh, cases. Rolled up bits of lead. And on the average field, if there's not much Roman coming up or none at all, and they get a rolled up bit of lead, I'm not going to put it down as a Roman curse. But seeing as this is 10 foot away from them few Romans I've just had, this could well be one of those Roman curses. Okay. Okay, guys, another grunty little signal. And I uh, just popped another nice little roman with plenty of definition on it i'm not familiar with the little pattern on that but it looks cool and uh i'll need a clean on that side to see if there's anything on it but i'm racking up the romans a bit now and uh stupidly just told sid i've had a few over here so watch out with your detecting buddies never tell them when you're digging the good stuff because they always mooch over to you then, you see. Guarantee ya, I guarantee ya, next signal, Sid will have a dinari. <laughs> I just got another scratchy signal. All the signals are very scratchy in this mineralised ground. This is... <laughs> this is uh, a sixpence... 1897. Sid's just gutted. BBC Steve. 
And what have I just said about Sid, Sid mooching over this way? And what did you get when you mooched over? You got another uh, Roman. On the Romans. Okay guys, another scratchy signal. On this highly mineralised ground, they're all scratchy signals, all of them. That's a Roman all day. Uh, I'll give it a wipe guys, see what's on it. Okay, it's hard to tell when it's straight out the ground, but there's definitely a thread. Okay guys, uh, just passing stone ends and it's closed. And there's the security there just to prove it. So, uh, happy days. We went to stone ends, Sid, but it's closed. <laughs> Well, the fines pouch Why made it, Sid. Yeah. Hey, Chris. You haven't had your extra chips yet, or what? No. Still waiting, isn't it? It's a child's machine, audio for the beach uh, or the campsites. Uh, quite good depth. This is a pound coin on the floor. That's there. That's about seven inches. Isn't seven it? inches, yeah. yeah. Eat a good seven inches. Yeah. Come up with loads of quids for the arcade the kids will. You've got a nice arm cut sponge on there so it's uh, not going to hurt the kids arms soft handle LCD screen on the left you've got the sensitivity four bars and on the right you've got a target ID you've got uh, it tells you the silver copper which is the high conductors mid-range which is the medium conductors and then you've got the iron at the bottom uh, three buttons so you've got on button and you've got the three buttons mode which takes you into sensitivity and then you've got the plus and minus uh, waterproof coil extendable shaft uh, the um, 9 volt battery goes at the bottom and also the headphones that come with it go at the bottom too. That's it. Uh, from Detector Bits, £89. Pound. Really good machine 79. for the kids. 79 Sorry, 79 pounds I'll, I'll yeah. take that out then. Delivered. <laughs> That's it then. Okay, this is the second um, machine that we're... Uh, the second children's machine that we're featuring, available from Detect Detector Bits. This one retails at just under £100. It's the Gold Hunter. It's got on-off switch, which is also your sensitivity. It's got three uh, discrimination settings there. Disc, all metal and tone. It's got a pinpoint button, no battery button. It's got your headphone socket and obviously the all-important discrimination. So let's switch it on and see how it does on this pound coin. Yeah, the uh, pound coin there. It's picking it up easily, about six inches. And the kids will be fine with that on the beach or at the campsite. And it's ideal. It runs, it runs off uh, just one nine volt battery, and it's ideal. It's it's lightweight. It's user friendly. It's got a little meter on it, and the kids will be able to coin shoot with that all day, and uh, they'll be out out from under the mum and dad's feet. And that's the main thing. Yeah.